Amen, amen, and amen. Oh, you love him tonight? Let's just be the Says to my burdens and roll up with us. I live for you.
Praise God. 
And today, everybody, no matter where you come from, we see each other as one people. Amen. Why? Because today is a unique day for the Ghanaian. Amen. So the problem is that you must be identified. Amen. Somewhere you must show. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the bride must show somewhere, somehow, Amen. that we are identified with this battle. Amen. Because this battle didn't start on the earth. The battle started in heaven. And God cast Lucifer down on this earth and put his sons here to overcome. And to win that war and to overcome the devil and to overcome Satan in every form, in every shape. We have been given authority by the word, by the power of the word to overcome the enemy. But to win this war and we have been given a weapon. We are identified today. Oh, you love it tonight? Praise be to the living God. Hallelujah. Now we are not going to lose this war now. The devil can come as hard as he wants. We won that war in heaven and we are here to finish it. That is why we are bold, identified with the word. Oh, glory to God. We may be seated. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. The Lord says, somewhere you must show. Amen. Your life shows tonight where you are identified. Not tonight. Your life, your thoughts, your thinking, your action shows where you are identified tonight. Oh, glory be to the living God. But thank God all those who forgive. All those who forgive. All those who forgive. He called them. He chose them. He elected them. He predestinated them. Oh, to overcome every principality. Glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lebron said, Amen. Your life shows tonight where you are identified. You are identified either in Christ or out of Christ. You are not halfway. There is no such thing as a drunk sober man. There is no black and white bird. You are either saved or you are not saved. You are either a saint or a sinner. One or the other, your spiritual attitude towards God's word identifies you exactly where you are standing. Your attitude towards God's word, not towards the pastor, not towards the church. Your attitude towards God's word identifies where you are standing tonight. Oh, come on now. I can see the courage. I can see a pride. I can see a pride. I can see a pride up with the word. You can do all no other but to stand with that word and be identified with the word. Oh, glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, you love it tonight. The prophet and God's word vindicated proof that the baptism of the Holy Ghost is just the same as it ever was on the day of Pentecost or any other time. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. And your attitude towards that identifies whether you have spiritual amnesia or not. That's right. No matter if you are a deacon or if you are a preacher, it don't make amen. Because if they get to praise God, the deacon has to be identified. The pastor has to be identified. The believer must be identified. Oh, glory be to the living God. So we find out it's contagious and beats the whole thing. So amnesia, be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a sickness that you lose your memory. That's right. And the brother said it is contagious right. when it hits the whole thing. That's right. Praise be to the living God. Amen. And when you have amnesia, you forget who you are. That's right. You forget your very name. Amen. You forget your very home. You forget your name, your family, your everything. Amen. You are walking with a head, but there's nothing in there to remember nothing. Amen. Praise be to the living God. Hallelujah. And that is the great battle we are fighting today. Because God has given the word to keep us in line. Keep us in remembrance. Hallelujah. Keep us fortified. That all the time when the enemy comes, we remember it is written. It is written. It is written. Jesus had to remember the word to overcome the devil in the wilderness. He remembered the word. It is written. It is written. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. It is written. Why? He remembered the word. Hallelujah. So Jesus could not be defeated by spiritual amnesia. Because the word was there and he quoted back the word. Glory. Hallelujah. 
But the greatest warfare we are facing today is spiritual amnesia. Amen. But the bride is standing on the show foundation, which is the word of the living God. Now that word cannot fail. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so tonight, Amen. I've got a few things on my heart. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The brothers that you, how can, how can you get algebra when the ABCs, you don't even know them. Amen. So we are going to go back to the ABCs. Amen. Praise God and begin to expose this enemy and we will come here. Amen. Oh, are you ready with me tonight? Because we are going to fight this one together to overcome to make a church that will make a revival in Tamale. Oh, give him praise tonight. Amen. So the problem is that now to be an American, to be an American, I must be identified with my nation. Huh? He said to be an American, I am born here in this country. I become a citizen and I'm identified with this nation. All it is, I am. And that is it. He said, and all that it has been, I am. Praise God. When we go anywhere, we want to we want to identify ourselves with Kwame Nkrumah. Because of the way he stood and fought Amen. for the liberty of this nation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you are then proud. I'm a Ghanaian. They say, Ghana, Kwame Krumah. Praise God. Amen. And you are identified. Amen. Why? Because that is where you are born. So the brother said, Amen. Amen. I am identified because, he said, I am because I am identified with it. Amen. Amen. And I want to get to it. I am identified as an American citizen and all that it was, I am. All that it is, I am. I must be part of it. And if I am an American citizen, I am part of America. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. I must never forget this if I want to remain a true American citizen. I must remember that I am what my nation is. Amen. Praise God. And if we are Christians, we come from another kingdom. We must be identified with heaven. Identified with the king of glory. To fight for hell. Amen. So the believer will fight for the word. Hallelujah. Anything that is contrary, brother, we are against it. Amen. That is why Paul said, Amen. Amen. When we read there, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God in verse 6. He said, And having in readiness Amen. to reflect all disobedience. Amen. How do you do that? When your obedience is fulfilled. Amen. So when anything comes against this word, you are ready to counter it. Praise God, thou shalt not steal. So when you see somebody stealing, brother, live a life. Live a life. You're saying true, not stealing. Brother, you are affecting disobedience of the word. Hallelujah. Are you getting me tonight? Are you getting Paul tonight? So when Paul said, praise God, be in readiness. You have to be in readiness. And having in a readiness to revenge. So we are here to reflect every disobedience of the word. Amen. Praise God. So when your brother is gossiping, you stand there in revenge. Amen. You are refusing to be a gossiper. Amen. You are refusing to be a tackler. Amen. You are refusing to be a backbiter. Amen. While you are standing in readiness to revenge disobedience Amen. by your obedience being fulfilled. Amen. Oh, are you with me tonight? Glory to God. So the brother said, Amen. I'm to fight for her or to die for her or to stand for all that she stands for, I must stand for it. So everything that the word is, we must stand for it. We must be ready to fight for it. We must be ready to believe with it. No matter if everybody is walking away, don't not go with me, yet still I will follow. The cross before me, the world behind me. Why? I am fighting to overcome. We are also identified Amen. with all that we are. We are children of the Father. Amen. We come from another kingdom. Amen. And our kingdom is not of this world. Amen. So our thinking and our thought and our likeness and our desires cannot be of this world. We are standing on something that is sure, 
Sure that you can see your uh, hands. Sure that you can see your neighbor. Oh, come on now tonight. So we identify tonight. Identify to the citizens of the kingdom. You may be seated. Amen. We're not going to be long, don't worry. Praise God. You know, praise God. The prophet said we need to, the preachers, we need to obey check order too. Because they do stay there more than an hour and where the people are. Praise God, but we love the Lord. Oh, we love Him. As in the name, we are going to follow. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But Abraham says, and I'm, I'm just going to, I want to read a few quotes and then go into my thought tonight. But Abraham said, Amen. A woman with shorts on never looked like, never looked like a Christian to me. The Bible says it's a simple and shameful thing for a woman to cut her hair. Only one woman in the Bible ever did that. Amen. That ever painted her face and that was Jezebel. So you realize that every form of painting is not of God. Huh? It's a battle. Is it a battle? Yeah. Huh? Amen. Amen, sisters. Yeah. Power painting is not, it's not, it's not, it's Jezebel, right? Yeah. You believe more painting is Jezebel, right? Yeah. Oh, glory. Yeah. Oh, the prophet. And how about men? You men that is supposed to be a Christian man. You let your wives do that. When, he said, when God will hold you responsible for it. Not man, can I know. Oh, I will go out and add and join to church. You think about it. That's exactly like right. you said. He said they wouldn't do. And that's exactly what they done. And that's what they will do. Compromise. Amen. So the Son of God, Amen. don't compromise on the word. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But Ram said there is one thing that won't go. The Holy Spirit because it is the word. And the real predestinated believer won't go away yeah. from church. Yeah. Huh? Won't go away. From the word. Hallelujah. Are you following me tonight? Amen. 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 Glory to God. And the real predestinated believer won't go away because it is food to his soul. Amen. He loves it. Yes, Nothing can keep him away from it. He will do everything like Jacob. Amen. But he wants that birthright. He will stand there. I don't care if it cost him every friend that he has got. Amen. If it cost him his job, if it cost him his church membership, if it cost him everything else, he will still hold on to it. Because he cannot help it. There is something in him moving in him that deep is calling to the deep. The believer stays with the word. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And anyone knows that the seal of God is the man's right. The Holy Ghost. That's right. Is the Amen. How many want the birthright? That's right. Amen. Praise God. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One of these days we're gonna have we're gonna have a special weekend service for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Because Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. You can't repent and be baptized and not get the Holy Spirit. Amen. Impossible. Praise God is our promise, is our birthright. Hallelujah. Be seated. I'm not going to be long. So the prophet said, Now, anybody knows that the seal of God is the birthright. The baptism of the Holy Ghost, Ephesians 4 30, says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed to the day of redemption. When you were born again, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, When they were born again, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the new birth. Amen. We know that we are going, he said, we are begotten of the Spirit. Amen. 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 He said, there's a baby, he said, there's a baby is begotten in his mother's womb. Amen. Amen. He's got one kind of a life. Amen. That is life. Amen. The little cells in the body twisting and kicking and jumping like that. But when it is born, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. then he squeals out, he becomes a living soul. Amen. A baby can go to church and say, oh, I believe in church. I will go, I will do this. I want to be right. I want to do right. But what it needs is the gospel spark to wake it up, to scream to eternal life. The Holy Spirit screams in. Amen. Like it never screamed before. Then it's a new creature. It is born of the Spirit. Then it begins to grow, move, 
and how it's been in God. Just a baby, natural baby, has is been in the world. Amen. 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 So the prophet that then the Holy Ghost is a new man. We know that he's being born again of the Spirit of God. That is how you are born by the Spirit. Born by the Spirit, that's a new birth. You are begotten of the Spirit. Then when you are born of the Spirit, you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. So the word of the living God comes to that soul that receives it. Amen. And the prophet told tells us that the token is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Now, when God put his children on this earth, his purpose was for them to rule this world. Amen. Have power and dominion over everything. Amen. It was God in heaven, they were God on the earth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, that hasn't changed. What changed was rejecting the word and listening to interpretation. That is what changed. But the word has been restored. And you have to come back to the word to receive the same power. Have the same dominion. Have the same authority that Adam had in the garden. But why are we not there? That is what I want to speak about tonight. The great battle. Praise God. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Now there are very little tiny bitty things. The church we do that the Holy Ghost cannot help. Because God can never go against his word. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You, want, you want to lay hands on the sick and they'll recover? Amen. Do this ABCs. Amen. Because the word is there. He said, this word will never return back void. Amen. But it shall accomplish Amen. for the purpose for which it is spoken. Alright. Praise God. Are you ready tonight? Amen. Amen. But Brother said, these all started in Genesis. Wisdom versus faith. The seed chapter. Amen. Victory started in Genesis. Amen. Defeat started in Genesis. Amen. Sickness started in Genesis. Amen. Disobedience started in Genesis. It was a seed chapter. And the said, it has ever been since. Ever since being on the scene, it's been the same thing. It's a fight between wisdom and faith. Always fight. So we are not in a picnic. We are in a warfare. Praise God. So wisdom is of the devil and for his children. Are you getting me now? Amen. Rather, wisdom is of the devil Amen. and for his what? Children. Amen. In other words, you cannot use your wisdom to interpret this word. Any time your mind begins to reason the word, is the devil speaking to you like he did in the Garden of Eden. Amen. You have to overcome that. Right there, begin to fight. Begin to say, I resist you. I overcome you. Speak always to the devil when he tries to talk to your mind. When he tells you you are sick, tell the devil by his friends, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. Let the sickness be put in you now, continue to confess it. Praise God. Be seated. Amen. Ram continues. Say, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. They can tell whether it's a good. Well, he's a sheep himself. Amen. Amen. My sheep know my voice. Strangers, they will not follow. What is his voice? Here it is. The word. Amen. What is the voice of God? The word. Amen. Simple. Amen. So you want the voice of God? The word of God. Amen. He said, they won't let anybody say, oh, now, here, I'm talking the voice of God too. This says this there. But see, is Satan. We will get to that in a minute. Praise God. The man said, now you see, now you see that seed where it cannot grow in the atmosphere of knowledge. Huh? As soon as knowledge mixes with faith, it dies right there. That's right. Praise God. So I get, I'm coming to say certain things. Praise God tonight. Amen. 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 To expose the enemy. Amen. Because he's a thief. 
He's a robber. He's a devourer. But we have got the voice of God to tell us how to overcome him. Do you want to overcome him? So remember, now you see that sea word cannot grow in the atmosphere there of knowledge. That's right. As soon as knowledge mixes with faith, it dies right there. Eve came, he said, Eve come and said, The Lord said, The day you eat thereof, that day we die. Then she stopped to see what he would say. He said, Listen, my dear, you lovely little thing, see, surely God made you for a purpose. You know that's right. You are a woman, you were made for this purpose, and that's what it is. You don't know what it is now, but you were made for this purpose. Oh, you are a lovely little thing, dear. Oh, look at those dainty little hands. Why? Sure. Sure, you will, surely. But he said, if we did it, we die. Praise God. Then the devil can he said, Oh, you think that's a good loving father God would do such a thing like that? Amen. What was happening here? Yeah. Wisdom. Amen. Knowledge. Amen. Reasoning. Amen. Praise God. Huh? Yeah. And Eve was beginning to listen to this serpent. Amen. Oh, you think that good that you think that good loving father God would do a thing like that? Amen. What she would do? She listened to reason. She took wisdom. Said is a tree, the light. One can be desired of. And she fell for it. That's exactly. And when she did, what happened? Like it to do any woman. As soon as you fall for it, it finishes right there. Now you see, the seed that she was holding, or would have finally become a mother by the will of God, spoken. He said, through a spoken word, she would have finally become a mother, but she could not wait Amen. and went into that. Amen. This brought the battle. Amen. This introduced the battle on the earth. Praise God. And the brother said, as soon as she did that, accepted wisdom with the word, the wisdom was contrary to the word. You understand that? It was contrary to the word. If wisdom with the word and proves it to be with the word, and the word produces itself by the same thing, then it is the word. But if wisdom is against the word and not with the word, but trying to find something to add to it or take away from it, it is of the devil. Tonight, let that anchor in your soul. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost seed of the Bible cannot grow in the atmosphere of wisdom. I hear it tonight. The Holy Ghost seed of the Bible cannot grow in the atmosphere of wisdom. That kills every seminary in the country. That knocks the holes right through them, punches them, and judgment flows in. That's right. It certainly does because the word cannot grow with wisdom. Worldly wisdom, it won't do it. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, whatever this Bible says, God will prove it. Yes, sir. Sure. Amen. Hallelujah. I got a few sure. questions. Sure. Amen. Amen. And some send me text messages to explain. Hallelujah. Because there are doctrines flowing around. Amen. The pain of tax, sure. praise God, Hallelujah. was of the Old Testament. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now these are spirits. Amen. Wisdom of man. And so whenever you find a question that pops up, you check the word. Check what that prophet said. Now if the prophet didn't say nothing about it, leave that alone. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And so this question has been going on and a lot of young people in the Bible are beginning to believe this thing. Amen. Huh? That pain of tithes was for the Levites in the Old Testament. Never after Jesus came, that law was done away with. There's no way it is written in the Bible. Praise God. Amen. The brother that Eve was to believe the word as it was given to her. So we are supposed to believe the word as it is what? Given to us. 
And so if everything in the Old Testament was of the Old Testament, then we have no business believing in Malachi chapter 4. Are you with me? Because in Malachi chapter 4, I will send you Elijah the prophet. And that prophet clearly tells us that every believer must have a home church. I want you to hear tonight. You must have a home church. You cannot flow from pillar to post. But around that is the wrong spirit. You must be under a ministry. Praise God. Where you identify yourself with that church, with your presence. That means that every day your body, you must take your Bible and walk to church. Have a seat and sit there. Praise God and worship Him. That's one requirement for Abraham to. The next requirement is that you must support that church with your tithes and with your offering. Now these three make you a member of the church. We don't write our names on a book. Praise God. And we are not a denomination. We don't tie you to a church. We don't bind you to a church. So when you leave, brother, we give our blessing. And wherever you go, you find a church there that becomes your church. Because we are one body. We are one people. By one spirit, and we baptize into the body. Praise God. Are you with me tonight? So the devil cannot come in now. And don't let him come in. Praise God. And so this makes you, you see that, a member of a spoken word church. So if today anybody here now wants to go to re migrate to Trinidad, huh? maybe they give you a job, a UN job, and you have to be in Trinidad working for the UN, but you attend church in Trinidad. You don't say this, my mother said, I have to send my tithes back to it. No. Because you are not feeding here. Amen. Are you getting me now? Amen. So don't say that. If you, if you, if God bless you and you remember us and you want to give us some money, that's fine. Amen. But you cannot, at the end of the month, deny that church the tithes and bring it here. Amen. It will not be acceptable. Amen. Do you understand that? Amen. And so I want to be very clear on tithing. Amen. People don't like preaching it, and I don't like preaching it too. You know, when you preach tithing, it's like you are looking for the money of the people. Amen. Like I told the officers, I said, listen, I'm going to step every, every officer who doesn't pay tithes. You are not a member of this church. Amen. If I have to summon in an usher and dig in the Lord, I will do everything. Amen. But we've got to be in line with the word. Because this power must come down to the church. Huh? If it is the word, we cannot be afraid to preach it. We've got to lay it there because the devil is going to stop the church. I say, you know? Oh, okay. Please stop. And so, a brother sent me a, you know, a message because somebody on the YouTube is declaring that any, pre, any Christian that pays tight to any church or any pastor is a good. Praise God. And should never pay tight to no church. Because tithing is of the Old Testament. It, is, it was done during the time of the Levites. But after Christ came, there's no tithing anywhere mentioned in the New Testament. Praise God. Amen. In the Old Testament, the people came to sacrifice every year. The high priest would go into the temple. Huh? Right into the holies of holies. Hallelujah. Amen. And with a bell tied to his leg. Because no one was willing to get into that place. That was the Old Testament. But we know that when Christ went to the cross, that veil was rent. Top down. That gave us access. The tree of life was restored back. Praise God. So can we say that 
Because the high priest in the Old Testament entered the tabernacle, and now that that is done, we should no longer even come into the church. Or can we say because it happened that way, we can no longer have preachers? Because Christ has come and the word is revealed. No, you can't say that. Because he gave some. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body. Until we all come. So there's a place and a purpose for the world to be fulfilled at each season. Praise God. Now, the Bible here never mentioned in Malachi that we should pay tithes to Levites. Amen? Amen. Praise God. All right. Amen. He never said we should pay tithes to Levites or the Levite family. And I'm going to read what the Bible says. Because I want to answer this question and also deal with it locally. Because you see, when your blessings are stopped, you don't understand why. When your salary can't take you to the end of the month, you don't understand why. Huh? It's the grace of pension. But I think there's no day you go to borrow money from here, you won't get it. Am I lying? Oh, come on, confess. Am I lying? How much is the pension salary? But she's never broke. Amen. Why? Praise God. Now, listen carefully. And we have to be, Brother Abraham said in the place that the life we live today, we live for our children. So be very careful with the word. Because when you come against one word, the Bible says it will not. So let's not play with this word. And if I don't preach it, God will hold me responsible. Listen to the word. Malachi 3. Amen. Verse 6. He said, I am the Lord, I change not. I am who? I am the Lord. I change not. He didn't say I am Jehovah. He didn't say I am Elohim. He said I am the one, the Lord. Pointing you to who was coming in the New Testament, the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do it in no other name than in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is Elohim. He is Almighty. He is Jehovah. He said, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Amen. So we can be consumed. Praise God. We are children of the promise. Children of the word. When you stay with that word, brother, you are standing on the shore foundation. Oh, you may be seated. Praise God. Now listen to it carefully. Let me slow down and talk so you understand. Now, verse 7, even from the days of your fathers. Amen. Hallelujah. So if I don't pay that, my children, this scripture will be on them. Even from the days of what? Your fathers. Amen. Ye have gone away from my ordinances. An ordinance is something that is put there as a rule for you to follow. Praise God. And when you go to the constitution of Ghana, we have ordinances in the constitution. Praise God. Ah, from the days of your fathers, ye have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. So not only have you gone away, but have not what? Kept them.
Satan is a liar. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can't, you can't win. You try to win, but you cannot win. Amen. Praise God. All right. He's back. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, you love him tonight. Amen. Praise God. Now he can't defeat, he cannot defeat God. Yes. God, we are in a great battle. Amen. You see the battle? Praise yes. God. But we are overcomers. So, he said, even from the days of your fathers, ye have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return. Amen. Who is speaking here? God is speaking. Amen. To who? To his children. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He said, return unto me. Amen. And I will return unto you. Said the Lord of hosts. But he said, where shall we return? Amen. We are in church. We believe the prophet. Amen. We are jumping. We are shouting. We are on fire. We are receiving the word. We are singing specials. How then do you say we should return to you? Then God asks, will a man rob God? He said, but ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offering. Amen. This has nothing to do with the Levites. Amen. God said, you have robbed me. Return back unto me. Don't do like your fathers. Keep my ordinances. Return back unto me. He said, where shall we return? How are we going to return back? They said, will you rob God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. There is no mention in Malachi chapter 3 that you have to pay to the Levites. This is Bible. Amen. He said, you have, but you have robbed me in tithes and offerings. There is no place he said pay your tithes to. Am I with you? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Are you believing tonight? Yes. Are you like Eve? Yes. Oh, no, you are not like Eve now. Yes. Because you are listening and obeying that word. Yes. Taking it as God has written it. Yes. Remember that Eve was to believe the word as it was given to her. Praise God. So he goes to the Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that they may be meet in my house and prove me now here with say the Lord of hosts. He never said bring it to the Levites. Amen. So that way he said it was only the Levitical family. He never said so. Praise God. He said, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that they may be meat in my house, and prove me now where it says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open to you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall be no room enough to receive it. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not hearing anything. So when there's preaching on tithes, listen to the word. Amen. If you are guilty, repent. Yeah. Huh? If you are guilty, return. He said, return unto me. So return back to the word. He said, after doing that, and I, after that, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Amen. The one that will not let that money settle in your house. The one that will always drain your bank account. I will, I will what? rebuke him. Amen. If you believe the word, there's no way you should be a poor man from today. Amen. If you believe what is written, it is God that is speaking to you now. Amen. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. Amen. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruits, 
before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed. All nations. That's the word. But the battle we have today is intellectualism. Amen. These false preachers anointed by the devil are out there trying to confuse people. Amen. But what does the word say? Bring your tithes into the storehouse. Amen. Praise God. Now when you go back into the Old Testament, tithes is not just money. Huh? Amen. If you are a farmer and you farm, Amen. you can pay your tithes out of your farm produce. Amen. You get it? Amen. So it doesn't make money. But you know that the farmer now in those days, people used to bring the food and the cattle, even land. Huh? Amen. Even plots of land. Go into the Old Testament, you see. Go study on Titan. People that have cattle, they pay tithes. At the end of the year, the number of breeds they get, they pay tithes on the cattle. Amen. Pay tithes on their farm produce. Pay tithes on the land they have acquired over the years. Pay tithes on so many different things. But all that has ceased because we are no longer farmers. The work of our hand is the work we do and we are paid and rewarded for what we do. Yes. And we are only rewarded in cash terms. We are rewarded in monetary terms. Amen. So you take one tenth of that and it is for the Lord as your tithe. Simple. Amen. So I dare challenge any man that tells me that no, tithing is of the Old Testament and we are not to. This Bible is complete. Genesis to Revelation is the complete word of the living God. Amen. He said, and my word shall not return to me void. When Jesus came and went into the temple, he took the scripture. He op they opened the scripture for him and it was from Isaiah. Amen. Huh? Amen. We would have said that it's Old Testament. We want to give us New Testament. No, but Jesus had to go back to the Old Testament Amen. to identify. Amen. And when he said, this day, this scripture is fulfilled Amen. before your very eyes. So everything that is written here is for our learning Amen. that we will believe. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So don't be like your fathers. Amen. Amen. Most of us sitting here, unfortunately, our parents, our fathers, some were not, were not Christians. So they never paid tithes. Are you getting me? He said, even from the days of your fathers, they've gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return. You have been asked yeah. to return. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So if you are here, you don't pay your tithes. You are not a member of this church. Amen. Am I hearing an amen? amen? Oh, Pastor, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this on the YouTube. The shame and the glory, we are not ashamed. We are identified. This is what we preach here. Amen. Not under song. Hiding under song. No, sir. If the fire is falling, let the world see. If you are rebuking, let the world see. If you are crying, let the world see. Amen. Not ashamed. Is the word? Because I don't want nothing to hinder you. So you are asked to return to the Lord. Amen. And I will return unto you. So the Holy Spirit, I'm saying all this to come back to one thing. Amen. Because you see why you can't be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can't disobey the word and get a feeling. Amen. Look, you can be wherever. You can be in Abraham Tabernacle. But Abraham can be alive preaching to you. You don't obey his word. No Holy Ghost for you. Amen. So I've kept all. Well, sell all you have and come follow me. One thing thou like it. The rich young ruler lacked something. And every believer must not like nothing. 
casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Yeah. We must cast down imagination. So all those YouTubers that are going around making all kinds of claims, fine, they have their interpretation, but we have a prophet. Yes. That we go back to the blueprint and find out what he said. If that prophet said that the titan has ceased, then we would say so. Yes. Because the word of God comes to the prophet. Yes. But the prophet said we should not Hallelujah. stop paying it. Yes. The prophet said support that church with your presence, with your tithes, and with your offering. Yes. And that makes you a member of the church. And it's not to be paid intermittently. Oh, this month you pay, next month you don't pay, three months you don't pay, the following month you pay. No. You pay it as you earn. Huh? Don't you pay your taxes? When you work at the end of the month, do you even, they take it at what? Source. And Jesus said, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, but give unto God what is God's. You pay your tax to Caesar, you pay your tithes to the house of God. We want dynamics, we want power, we don't see power. Well, have you met a part of it? Because he said, return unto me, and I will return unto you. So if you don't return to him, he will return to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you saying amen tonight? Amen. What kind of preaching is this? Is the word? Amen. Because we can preach all the mystery to you and you are guilty of this. Amen. Nothing will move. Because God will recognize your sacrifice of praise. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. And this is not just here. It is everywhere in the message. Yes. When the people in the Pentecostal world they are ready to pay everything. They come, they export all their money, they are happy to go and do it. Amen. They come into the missing tithe and offering, nobody, they, they, stop. they don't even want to pay. They don't pay me to the pastor. No, sir. Yeah, Hallelujah. I don't like coffee in here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So he said, return unto me and I will return unto you. Amen. The Holy Ghost is here to come into you. Amen. How will he return? He comes in the form of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you are smart. You pay your tithes, but you want God to bless you. No, he can't do it. No, he is not your boy boy. God is not your remote control. Amen. Are you hearing me? Watch those that pay their tithe. Just walk in this church. Watch those that pay their tithe. Do they struggle? No, no see, do they struggle? No, sir. Uh, they are always pocketed. Eh? Their pocket is always pocketed. Amen. They buy what they want. They are happy. They are free. They are, why? Because God cannot fail on His word. Yeah. Now, and this one is small enough to see. That's what God said to yeah. Abraham, I will give you a son. After 25 years, Abraham, take that son and go and sacrifice him. That's right. have to, Isaac. Isaac, tomorrow we are going up to the mountain to do a sacrifice. Yes. Hallelujah. He got there and said, stay here. He, Isaac, let's go. Right. Isaac said, Father, the wood, the fire, but where's the lamb? <laughs> he said, God will prove himself the lamb for the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham was willing Give Isaac back. Amen. If that angel didn't come down to say, Stop Abraham, Abraham would have killed Isaac because God said, Do it. Amen. And after Abraham fulfilled that, God said, My. God called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, Because thou hast done this, because thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son. In blessing, I will bless thee. In multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven. 
That's the kind of God we serve. God backs up his word. And today we are children of Abraham according to promise. You can't number the children of Abraham. You cannot number the natural seed of Abraham. But that was a man without a child. God tried him. Proved him by the word. And God fulfilled what he told Abraham. In blessing I will bless you. Till even the natural hybrid seed of Abraham is blessed. Even Ishmael's line is blessed because God keeps his promise. Go to the Arab world and see. No tree, no nothing. Desert. But no one can compare to the riches that is there. That's God's promise. To Abraham. How much more to the promised seeder of Abraham. Oh, come on now. Our God is more than able. You have to recognize the devil. That he's only trying to stop you from your healing, your deliverance, your breakthrough by deceiving you. To imagine the word. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? We stop. If you have the fear of God in your heart, you will not even try it. You may be seated. Praise God. We are a very small church. When there's a convention, I don't see why anybody here cannot go. Huh? So change your lives. You know, the prophet said, sometimes, you know, we shouldn't be quick at helping people. And I think I'm most guilty of that. Praise God. Amen. But I told the Lord, forgive me. Because sometimes people will refuse to pay their tithes and God is dealing with them. You still pack them and carry them to convention. So I'm not doing it no more. Amen. Convention will tell the price. You pay, you go. You don't pay. That's it. Amen. If two people pay, we go with them. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because we have to see this way come alive. Huh? God is able of these stones. How much more his sons and daughters? He said, if our earthly parents know how to give good gift to their children, how much more our heavenly father? So he said, return unto me and I will return unto you. Save the Lord of all. But you said, where shall we return? We are already in church. Return to what? He said, will a man rob God? Ye have robbed me. But you say, where are we robbed thee? Are we robbed thee? In tithes and offering. Amen. And he goes, he said, he are cursed with the curse. Amen. How many want the curse of God? So each time you withhold your tithes, you are cursed with the curse. I am not saying so. And I am not cursing anybody. God forbid. But I am echoing that word to you. To you, for you to know the magnitude of the guilt you are putting on yourself. No, you have to understand now. God don't play. God don't what? Play. That word is the word. Say, so ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Not just here. So tonight, if you don't pay your tithes, you better. And I told the officer, don't let me catch any officer not paying his tithes. I will step you down. Huh? And I mean that. And if we have to come every month and chase you one by one to pay your time, we will do that. Amen. Amen. I'll appoint somebody, tithes, in charge of tithes. Every month you take the book, write their names. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No, let's make a change that will make a revival. Because the devil is a devourer. Gets you to disbelieve one word that said he's got you. But God is saying, return. How many are willing to return? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Oh, glory be to the living God. So we've got to understand that. Amen. Amen. Now, and you cannot jump from pillar to post. So if there's somebody coming here, if, 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 if there's somebody that comes here, goes to another church, comes here, go, I'll ask him one day, where do you belong? Amen. Amen. But you have to make a decision. We've heard of people dying in other churches and the pastor say, I won't touch him because he's not a member of my church. And everybody's rising against the pastor. The pastor said, yeah, he wasn't paying, he wasn't a tight paying member of my church. That pastor has every right not to recognize that dead body. Amen. I understand it. It's not that the person is hard. My brother said, we are responsible for our what? Our own. Responsible for those that don't belong to the church, and how you belong to the church is three things your tithe, your offering, your presence. Amen. That's how you will recognize you as a member of the church. So you cannot be sending me tithes and you're not here. I don't want the tithes. You understand me? If you're not here in church, I don't need your tithes. It's not money. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's the word. Amen. Praise be to the living God. Amen. And so let's be careful now. But rather, the Lutheran church lost her light. Methodist lost her light. The Baptist lost her light. The Pentecostal church lost her light. Every light seems to be gone. In the message, it's like nothing is moving. We are supposed, but rather with all that we know, we are supposed to be out there. Amen. The power of the Holy Spirit is supposed to be rocking this church, shaking every believer. But we got the devil whipping us. Whipping. People can't even pray. It's the devil doing the battle. Through these little, little, little things you think don't matter. So at the end of the day, you take your pay slip, it's all loads. At the end of the day, you have nothing. What? Is the devourer? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Borrow from this one, borrow from that one. By the time you think you are paying this, by the time you finish paying nothing. Take God's money out first. Yeah. Thank him. Say, Lord, I thank you for this month. Thank you. Others are unemployed, but you made a way for me. Amen. You promise in your word. Bless this. Amen. And may it be used to feather your kingdom. Amen. Present it to him. And walk in faith. And see. Huh? Elisha and the, the widow woman. What happened? Bake me a, a, a bread. Bake me a cake first. She had the last thing. But she obeyed. And she didn't complain. She baked the cake. What happened? Praise God. Hallelujah. The bread, the, the, the flour never ran out. And the oil never ran out either. Amen. So we serve a God of all possibilities. Amen. But God can never change his mind about his word. Yes, sir. You cannot go against the word and expect him to do anything. Amen. Every light seems to be gone. Because of people, the Holy Ghost people is acting like the Methodists. Methodists acting like the Baptists. Baptists acting like the Lutherans. Lutherans acting like the Catholic, and it's all gone back to one big conglomeration of sin. What unbelief? Amen. That's right. We are in the end time, the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now she had a house cleaning time. In this battle, we are going to have a house cleaning time. Amen. As you leave tonight, get a house cleaning time. Do everything according to the word and see this God. But he would turn your life around. She had a house for any time. She scrubbed the floors. She swept the walls. She took down the cobwebs. She kept on until she found what she had lost. The pretty one power. She had found she had lost. But no. Find what you lost. If what you lost is not paying your tithes, 
go back and start paying your tithes. And tell your friends the magnitude of the punishment. Say, you are cursed with a curse. I'm not scaring you. I'm reading what the word is saying. And you fail to do that. God can't take back his word. So be careful. And when she did, she called to her little sisters. Huh? I get it on. She kept on. She didn't stop. Until she found what she had lost. And when she did, she called her little sister churches to come now. You want power? You want to show forth the glory of the living God? You want to show that God is real? Let your life be a testimony. Let them ask you, come on now. How did you make it? How, 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 by what, by what, how, how? Hallelujah. Anybody I meet ask me, uh, what do you do if you are able to fund these conventions? I just laugh. <laughs> I say, you know what? I pay my tithes. Praise Amen. God. You think I don't pay tithes? I pay tithes. Praise God. Amen. And I always trust the Lord. Amen. And the Lord has never failed. No matter the storm, no matter the build they bring, God makes a way just like that. Amen. We serve a living God. Yeah. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. He is good now. Yeah. She kept on until she found what she had lost. And when she did, so you have to find what you have lost. There's nobody here with an excuse not to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nobody. You can't believe this blessed word of Malachi 4. Huh? Repent of all your sins and live into for the living God, and yet you can't get the Holy Ghost. No. The Ram said, Now, I'm done. Praise God. He said, Now, look, the word assures us of the promise. The word, it assures us of what? The promise. Amen. So that's part of the promise. We are in this world, we don't walk after the flesh. But in this world, we need to live. How do we live? We need shelter. We need clothes. We need food on our table. Okay. Okay. The hand that does not work does not want to eat. So God is obligated to provide. And as we work, He's is obligated to sustain. So God will protect what you have. He will not let the devil come and devour. Take away and destroy. Amen. So the promise that the word assures us of the promise. All these are things I've said now. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He said the word assures us of the promise because it is the promise. The word is the promise and the word is God and God is the word and the word is ours. Amen. Amen. Whatever we have read tonight in Malachi is the promise. Amen. It's the word. And the word is God, and the word is what? Ours. So you want to be a rich man, pay your tithe simple. You want to have enough, pay your tithe. Oh, is that a smoking word, Mr. Joe? Praise God. Ah, oh, the brother said, and the word is the, and the, the word is the God, and the word is ours. And we become the word. Amen. And the word becomes us. Amen. If ye abide in me and my word in you, see, it just becomes one great big family. Amen. It assures us. Why? It is part of us. It becomes part of us. What it takes assures us the promise. Amen. The word is a promise. Amen. So say, return unto me. But the great battle is that Satan said, don't go back. Satan is holding you and God is pulling you back by the word. Yeah. But we have a sure foundation. Yeah, yeah. That word is a sure foundation. Yeah. The token is a sign that the purchase has been made and been accepted. Yeah. Now you can't get the token from the railway fair until you pay the price. Yeah. You can't get the blessing yeah. until you do what he says. Amen. Yeah. 
Am I talking to somebody? Yes, yes. Amen. Praise God. Yes. That's what he said. Amen. He said, bring all the tithe into the storehouse that they may be meet in my house. And prove me here, we say the Lord. And if I will not open the windows of heaven. Amen. Lord, open the windows of heaven. Lord, open the windows of heaven. You are fasting one week, fasting two weeks, fasting 40 days. You want to have a breakthrough in your life. No. And you refuse. He won't open the windows. Huh? That they may be, they, that they may, they, they shall be not room enough to receive it. Huh? You don't know how to buy some time. You'll be riding in a car, people don't understand. How come? Because you have kept God's word. He said, the gold is mine. The silver is mine. Hallelujah. No, what pastor is saying is impossible. Is it true? With God, nothing is what? Impossible. Once you go by the word, by the promise, watch him. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he says, Amen. You can't get that token from the real railroad fair until you pay the price. You can't get the blessing until you do what is needful. Amen. And the only way you are going to pay the price is to pay it. Amen. The only way you are going to get the blessing from this scripture is to do what it says. Amen. Come and stand and say, I am the president of Ghana. I need a ticket to board this train. So, pay the fare. Are you getting it? Amen. The said, that's right. What? Believe it. Accept it. Full obedience to the whole Hallelujah. word of God. Amen. What the Holy Ghost, right? Yes. Full obedience to the whole word of God will entitle you to the token. Amen. I'll hear an amen on that one. Amen. I'm thinking it's catching you. Well, cast down reasoning. Amen. Cast down imagination. Amen. Full obedience to the whole, Amen. not some part. Yes. So the preachers that are saying that paying tithes of the Old Testament, huh, not the whole. Rather, full obedience to the whole word of God will entitle you to the token. Full obedience, not part of it, as far as your denomination goes, but all of it. Full obedience to the word, which is Christ, brings you into Christ. Amen. The brother said, and when you want eternal life, you receive a token. Amen. Church, we need to wake up. Amen. And stop fooling ourselves. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Stop robbing God. When I exalted in Tema, it was like, oh, you know, people were taking it for fun, but it wasn't for fun. Amen. It was the word. Amen. I'm robbers. Amen. Huh? And by the law of this land, I'm robbers need to be off locked away in maximum prison so you see spiritually those robbers that have robbed God you see where the devil has locked them they are locked up in spiritual prisons nowhere near the Holy Spirit because the Holy Ghost can come let's be real it's time the preachers we get real with the people God ever says his love to the church is not going to be by your good works. Yeah. Yes. It's going to mean that you will have paid your tithe. Yeah. You will have done everything as a Christian. But it tells you that you can't do any other thing by your effort. Yeah. This is grace. Yeah. Does not mean that you fool around and do anything and say it's not by your good works. It's not by the obedience of the people. It will be by his grace. Well, of course we know it is by grace that we even have the grace to believe this message. Yeah. Paul said, make your calling and election what? Sure. Amen. So we are not ignorant. Remember now, when you want eternal life, you receive a token showing that the price has been paid. It isn't the blood, but it is the token of the blood. It's the life itself. Full obedience to the whole word of God, to God's entire word, will entitle you to this token. Basic things as Christians we shouldn't be told. Basic things that 
it should be normal. See my children, I make sure every seven they put in offering. When I forget to give them, I'm in the office, they will run there. When they hear the offering play, they are coming. So you think when they grow up, they will know how to pay offering. And if you pay tithes, your it will, that spirit will follow your family. But if I don't pay, my children won't pay. But that's why the scriptures say, even from the days of your fathers. Then your whole entire generation. You see how serious it is? I don't understand why things are not working well and things are not going well for me. And it's not going well because there is a promise. Let's get right with God. Praise God. How do you do it? Peter said on the day of Pentecost, repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the token. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to your children's children and to them that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call the promise. Amen. So every promise of God cannot fail. Rather, there's so many voices in the earth today. Amen. Like the voices of those preachers who say, don't pay that. These are agents of Satan. Yeah. Trying to deceive the very elect, if it, if it was possible. Yeah. Praise God. There is so many voices in the earth today that it is absolutely a hard thing because it deadens the voice of the supernatural. Yeah. The pastors who preach it, reasoning, look by him, move from come on down, how much is the salary? You quickly hold on to that one. Get your salary, the boy says you're tight. So, this tight this month. I don't even keep doing it. No, nobody will know. Then there is the voice of the supernatural. Amen. There is so many intellectual voices, great voices of mighty men who are intellectual that in their intellectual conditions even shake the nations. Amen. They will come with scriptures. Tell you that you can't, don't, don't pay tax, forget it. Great intellectual voices. They are just not overnight people. They shape nations, bringing great organizations together, great campaigns, flowering, and a person will be a bit, a person will be a bit confused. It's enough to confuse them of how these things go on and prosper. You see those churches? Hey, mega. Go and prosper, and there's the voice that's raised up and do these things, and it causes the voice of God to be placed way back there somewhere. The true voice of God, Amen. the voice of God is His word. Yes. No matter how it is lying there, no strength, it is still the word. Amen. When the appointed time comes, that word would speak. Just make sure that you are in that way. And the voice of God is saying, how will we know it is the voice of God? Because for today, then it was a vindicated prophet. How do we know it is the voice of God? It has to be in the word. By a vindicated what? Prophet. Now today, how do we know it is the voice of God? Because it is the, it is the manifestation of the prophet's word. This is God's prophet. A true voice of God only brings back that real living supernatural God with his supernatural word, with his supernatural manifestation of the true word. Then we know it is the voice of God. Amen. So the prophet said, find a home church. Support it with your time. Support it with your offering. That's how we know it is the word of God for today. Amen. So are you with me? Amen. Glory be to the living God. Now there is, a, there is a voice today in the world of politics. That's a great voice. People absolutely in this day of politics. It's all mixed up in the churches and everything. And many times we have just seen recently that the voice of politics is actually stronger than the voice of God in the churches. Today, people rise up in the churches. They know more than even what the Bible says. As for me, as for me, as for me, those are false spirits. 
Are you listening to me? Amen. That's why you have to hold to God's unchanging heart. And if you have a question, come ask your pastor. Amen. Don't call nobody and ask anybody nothing. Amen. But what they will be telling you will be a voice Amen. to deceive you. Intellectually, it sounds good, but is it the word? No, so be careful. Amen. Praise God. It all mixes up in the churches and everything. And many times we have we have often seen. That the voice of politics is actually stronger than the voice of God in the churches. Or the American people would have never did what they did. They just did. Amen. If the voice of God would, have, would be kept alive in the church, they would never have made the mistakes. But the voice of politics is so strong in the earth today than the voice of God. Until people sold their Christian birthright for a mess of popularity, education, and political power. It is such a shame to see it. Wow, but we are standing on the shore of our nation. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Musicians, Amen. praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we get ready to close out. Amen. Amen. Abraham, Praise God. Amen. Are you happy tonight? Amen. Amen. Don't let me shake you now. If you are guilty, repent. Amen. And repentance will change your mind. Amen. Don't bring the curse on yourself and your children now. Don't do that. Amen. Trust in the God that called you. Amen. Huh? That's why I tell you, you know the young man that came was playing, I told him, look, you want God to bless you, don't commercialize your gift. If God gives you a gift, use it to sell him, Amen. and he will make a way for you. Yes. You want to make money from your gift, you will remain marking time. Because the devil will let you run, run and run and run with it, and you will never make it. it. Unless you join them. Praise God. Amen. God, our kingdom is not of this world. Amen. You believe that? Amen. Are you ready tonight? Amen. To fight the battle? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Abraham said, Amen. You've got to be inspired. He said, got to be inspired to you. The Holy Spirit has to bring it and make it manifest to you. Amen. What I'm saying. Some will still not do what it is, what I'm saying. Because if it is not quickened to you that this is God's word, the only pay tight in March and April, forget it. The money cry will reach. But it's got to be inspired. But I want you to realize that this simple thing in the word without it, the Holy Ghost can never come on you. It's a word. The Holy Spirit will never want. Come. You can be whoever. Come against that word. Come, come. That is why our churches we are struggling because people sit in the church simple time they won't pay. They call themselves believers. You are not a believer. Let's be careful now. Brother, it's got to be inspired to you. The Holy Spirit has to bring it and make it manifest to you. That is what is the matter today. You can't get up. The altar is say, well, hallelujah, Lord, I want the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. No, brother, sister. When the Holy Ghost has inspired that word to you, you will get to it before you leave your seat. Amen. 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 Uh, the Holy Ghost is going to strike the Lord. I need a healing. And Lord, feel me. And, no, forget. You are hitting the ground. You only break your bones. Praise God. Simple faith. When the Holy Ghost inspires it to you, you walk in the spirit, a son of God, a daughter of God, brother. You walk in here, you are in heavenly places. Huh? You come into church with joy and speak up. Pastor, don't need to repeat coldness. No, you are already on fire. 
Because you are connected with the Spirit. You will come. Praise God. Oh my. But the brother said, Oh, that's what it's about today. You can't get out by the water and say, Well, hallelujah, Lord, I want the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. No. But brother, sister, when the Holy Ghost has inspired that word, the Holy Ghost cannot inspire anything. It can't inspire your reasoning. And God knows that, you know, as for this man, I couldn't pay my tithe because God himself knows that, that God don't know nothing. <laughs> God can't inspire that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. With all of your heart. And he shall. Uh -huh. The Holy Ghost must inspire it to what? To you. Everywhere. But remember the, the whole word. Full word. Full obedience to the whole word entitles you. And when the Holy Ghost comes into direct you. Teach you, comfort you. Praise God. Oh, my brother, sister, when the Holy Ghost has inspired that word to you, you will get it before you leave your seat. Something in you bent up. Preacher won't have to tell you to do this or do that. That all that all leaves you. Huh? That all leaves will just drop off, and the new leaves will come off. It's inspired to you. You won't get angry with the preacher when he preaches the truth from the Bible. You will love it. Reach for it. It is food to your soul. Amen. So you are not paying tithes. You'll be happy tonight. Amen. Amen. Don't get angry with me. It's food for your soul. Because it's inspired to you. I get it. Amen. Oh, even Jesus said, I do not, I do not want what I do within myself. The son can do nothing but what he sees the father doing. The word, he was Emmanuel himself. He was God on earth. Jesus was. He was the flesh that God dwelt in. He was the tent that God lived under. Amen. Amen. But in all that the virgin born son of God, Emmanuel, in the fullness of the spirit, he had the spirit without measure. And yet, in his own flesh, he said, I do nothing until the Father shows me first. Inspired to him to do it. Amen. Are you going to be inspired to, to fight this battle? Amen. To overcome? Amen. Because Satan is a devourer. But tonight we expose him. Lead me, Lord, tonight. Is that your prayer? Is that your, is that your, is that your desire? Take him at his word. I've told you. God is able to make you praise God. He said you are the head and not the tail. If you are guilty tonight, just repent.
up your praise, Father. Lord, we go, Lord God, we're out of your presence tonight, Father. Blessed be the name of God. We bless the word upon the people tonight. Father, we thank you, Lord. We pray, Lord God, that may you honor this word in our hearts today, Lord. Let we read another belief that I can have, Father. Let your name be kept over the place that you will ask, Lord. Father, by all these old places, Father, we pray that you help us, Father. Change us, Lord God. We let your spirit be upon us, Lord God, that we go past and go by and about. Lord, that every interpret all of this word over out of your will, Father. Lord, we thank you tonight for that deliverance. We thank you tonight for a corrective path, Lord. We give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. Father, may you let this congregation here stand up there. Oh God, never to deny that word. But take it all there in this fullness, oh Father. Lord, to give our glory and honor to thy kingdom, Father. Bless each and every one of us to leave this place, oh God. See us through Father, that Lord, in the mighty name of 